Hi, my name is Brandy, and I'm from North Carolina. Please like and subscribe before I continue my story. The night I was born, there was a huge storm in my town, which led to a complete power blackout. My mom kinda gave birth to me in the dark. The next morning when she saw me, mom was shocked. I had bright red hair, unlike anyone in our family. But the doctor said it was possible some ancestors had red hair and they'd been passed on to me. Mom adored my hair, but my older brothers, Sam and Alan, were always jerks about it. Once when I was five, they came to me with a ghost chili pepper and said that eating it gave special powers to redheads. So I instantly popped it in my mouth. Seconds later, mom was rushing me to the hospital. Growing up with those two, I'd heard every stupid thing. Mom found you in a dumpster when you were a baby. Your real parents are tomato farmers. Someone left you at our doorstep with money and this note. $10,000 for keeping our ugly baby. Thank you. My brothers were a pain in the butt. When I was in 10th grade, my sweet grandma died. After the funeral, I snuck off to her room. Moments later, Sam opened the door and spat at me. Stop crying, loser. She wasn't even your grandma, cause you aren't related to us. I leapt forward and attacked him. Just then, Alan came running and pulled me away as I screamed, I am your sister. Say I am or I'll knock your teeth out. Say it, jerk. Brandy, uh, I don't think you are. Look what I found in grandma's study. I was about to bite Alan too, but when I saw what he gave me, I was <gasps> shocked. They were my adoption papers. I ran out immediately and burst into the living room. You're not my real mom? Everyone looked stunned, including mom. Sweetheart, let's talk about this later. No, I want to talk about it right now. When she saw the papers, she looked mad. Oh God, did your stupid brothers just play a prank on you? Brandy, these papers aren't real because I never adopted you. But one thing is true, I'm not your biological mom. What? Mom then told me the most whack story ever. She said the night I was born, a woman had switched me with another baby at the hospital. The power came back on and she was caught on camera. But the hospital staff saw the footage months later. The woman was identified, but I didn't press charges. Why? Because, darling, I was completely in love with you by then. I couldn't give you up. You were my daughter now, even if you weren't the one I gave birth to. My whole world had suddenly turned upside down, and my jerk brothers had been right. Mom told me her name was Olivia, and we discovered that she was the CEO of a huge makeup company, Cinderella's Secret, and she had red hair, like me. To my shock, Mom gave me all her savings to go look for her. You deserve to meet her, love, but I'll be waiting for you when you come back to me. And just like that, I was on a flight to New York. And the minute I got there, I landed into disaster. Just as I'd hailed a cab at the airport, I turned around to pick up my bags and they were gone. My money, passport, clothes, everything. All I had was my cell phone. So the first place I visited in New York was the police station. After filing my report, I asked an officer if he could drop me at the makeup company's headquarters. My heart was pounding. I was about to meet my real mom. I walked to the receptionist and told her I wanted to see the CEO. She stared at me, then burst out <laughs> laughing. You think the CEO has time to meet some poor, ugly girl? Where are you even from? Your outfit is hideous. Go away, I'm working. Listen, I think the CEO will want to see me because, well, I'm her daughter. That's impossible, you idiot. I'm her daughter. I couldn't believe I was looking at the girl I'd been swapped with. I tried telling her the whole story, but she just kicked me out. I felt lost about what to do next. I didn't want to call mom for more money. As I was walking down the street, I saw a salesperson wanted sign outside a makeup store. And suddenly, I had a great idea. I applied for the job and got hired immediately. At the end of my first shift, I stuffed a bunch of makeup from my mom's brand in my pockets. Then I went to the police station and luckily, the same officer who'd helped me before was there. Officer, I stole all this makeup. Arrest me. He looked so confused, so I whispered that I desperately needed a place to stay. He agreed to keep me in jail, but only for three days. That night, I started recording a makeup tutorial on my phone. I knew I had to do something crazy to get attention. 
So I put on all the rainbow colored eyeshadow and a crazy winged liner. I thought it actually looked uber cool. I posted the video online, tagging the makeup company's page and went to sleep. The next morning, I saw that my video had gone freaking viral. People loved the rainbow eye. And more surprisingly, they thought I was really pretty. Also, lots of people noticed I was in jail and were demanding my release. A few hours later, the police officer told me I had a visitor, and my heart almost stopped when I saw who it was. Olivia, my birth mom. She introduced herself and said she loved what I'd done with her makeup, and she wanted me to be the face of her new campaign. Of course I agreed, and when she found out I didn't have a place to stay, she took me to her gorgeous mansion. I couldn't have planned this any better. Suddenly, I bumped into the receptionist I'd met the day before, and she looked furious to see me. You? Do I have to call security again to throw you out? Sylvia, what do you mean, again? This creep came by the office yesterday. And you threw her out? You can be such a fool sometimes. Do you know she's the genius behind the rainbow eye? No, I just copied it from a friend. Ew, now I want to poke my eyes out. Why is this beggar even here, mom? She's my guest, so behave yourself. I could feel Sylvia's death glare as I walked off to my room. Wow, mom's real daughter was a witch. Later that night, I woke up to some strange sound, and when I turned around, I screamed. Freaking Sylvia was standing by my bed. Tell me who you are and why you're really here. Well, I told her the whole story, and I was certain she wouldn't believe a word. But what she said next shocked me. I sometimes wondered who my birth mom was, and now I know. She's a poor weirdo like you, and the woman I live with is a millionaire. So I guess I really hit the jackpot when she stole me. Wait, you know Olivia isn't your mom? Oh yeah, I know. A stupid maid once said I looked adopted, so I got a DNA test done. Now you listen to me. I don't want you telling Olivia you're her daughter. If you try to take over my life or my money, I will destroy you. Of course, I wasn't afraid of that witch. I had to tell Olivia at some point because I wanted answers, but I kept delaying it because I was having such a good time. Over the next few weeks, Olivia took me everywhere with her and we were doing photo shoots and filming commercials. I was being pampered by a team of people and wearing amazing clothes. I was loving it. Olivia was holding a launch party for the new makeup range, and she'd bought me a gorgeous new dress for it. I went to her room to show her how it looked, and she couldn't stop gushing. You look exquisite, my darling. I'm so glad I found you. I decided this was the moment of truth. Yeah, me too. Olivia, uh, there's something I need to... And just then, my eyes fell on the dressing table and all her makeup. None of it was her own brand. You don't use Cinderella's Secret? Good God, no. That stuff will ruin your skin. But isn't it supposed to be all natural ingredients? Well, since you're such a sweetie, I'll let you in on a little secret. No, it's all chemicals. It's way too expensive to use the natural stuff. But, but Olivia, that's dishonest. You're lying to all your customers. Suddenly, she looked livid. I don't remember asking your opinion. I know how to make money and be successful, and that's all that matters. And let me remind you, your contract doesn't allow you to talk about my products, so I'd keep my mouth shut if I were you. I left the room in shock. My birth mom was a monster. The next evening, everyone at the party was coming over and giving me compliments, but I just felt unhappy now. Just then, someone tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around to see a sleazy looking guy. I've been watching you from across the room, and I can't seem to stop. You're a hottie, and I'm a hottie, so we should get to know each other, babe. Um, sorry, I think Olivia's calling me. But as I started to walk away, he grabbed me by the waist and kissed me. I pushed him away, but just then, Sylvia attacked me. How dare you kiss my boyfriend? You think you can take everything? I'm gonna kill you, witch! As I fought her off, Olivia came to my rescue and pulled her away. She screamed at Sylvia in front of everybody, who burst into angry tears and stormed off. That night, I decided I was leaving this madhouse. I was gonna tell Olivia everything, get my answers, and take the first flight home. I marched to her room, but as I got closer, I heard Sylvia shouting inside, You don't love me anymore, do you? 
It's because she told you she's your real daughter, isn't it? OMG, Sylvia had told her before I could. Yes, I know she's my daughter, but she didn't tell me. I just knew the moment I first saw her. Huh? Wait, what? But why did you steal me at birth and leave her? I just picked the prettiest baby from the nursery and that was you. She was a really ugly newborn. Listen, my darling, you're my daughter. This girl is just good for business because she's a different face. <gasps> Once people are bored of her, I'll send her packing. I turned around and fled to my room. I'd heard all I needed to know. I packed my bags and climbed out the window. Before heading for the airport the next day, I stopped at the office of a journalist I'd met once. I dropped off all the makeup I had with an anonymous note. Get Cinderella Secret products tested in the lab, and you'll find out what a scam it is. Thank me later. When I got home, Mom opened the door and let out a cry of joy. As I hugged her, I realized how much I'd missed her. My mom, the only one. Well, long story short, the journalist did follow up on my lead and published an article that brought down Olivia's company. She was sued for billions and went bankrupt and even had to serve some jail time.